What's going on, y'all? Welcome to the truth. Don't hurt. Where the truth doesn't hurt, it just hurt coming from me. So the kings fall to the warriors. Well, one thing that I can point out was stagnation on his offense. Mm -hmm. um, defense um, definitely can be better, should be better. And I believe under Mike Brown will be better. Um, you know, I seen in the broadcast, they was talking about the new additions as far as being on the same page. Although that is partly true. That's not the reason. That's not, that's not really part of the reason why of the inefficiency of offense turnovers. Um, look, if we're going to get to that place where we don't, where we want to go, which is going deep in the playoffs and possibly winning the championship defense got to be better. Offense ain't going to always be there. Sometimes, sometimes you got to go ahead and grind things out. You know, and you giving up damn near 40 points in the third quarter to the Warriors, that ain't going to cut it. Uh, I don't give a damn who you playing. That's not going to cut it. That's that's not good enough. Uh, Fox came through and tried to put the team on the shoulders and try to wheel them back. But it just came up short. Um, I thought Mike Brown should have challenged that call at the end. I believe that we would have got, got it. But it is what it is. Um, some of the things that I've seen was JaVale McGee, that's going to be an excellent addition to this team. Uh, one thing I said is that this team needed above-the-rim rebounder, and that's what they get with him. Activity, you could just see the difference with JaVale McGee on the court. That's going to be crucial. Now, I know Dorothy, when you look at the statistics, it's going to be like, uh, he didn't really good. But to me, he he competed. Now, we know that the refs was calling some BS, but it is what it is. You know, when we go against a team like that, we're not going to get the calls. You got to play through that. Um, you know what I mean? So there ain't no blaming or refs on this. Even though Looney be setting some dud screens, it is what it is. You're not going to get that against a team like the Warriors. So you got to fight through that. You got to take a win when you play a team like the Warriors. You got to take wins when you play these elite teams with, 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 with superstar talent. You got to take that. And the Kings, they didn't take that tonight. So therefore, that's what contributed to their, to their shortcomings of that. Now, I do like the additions that we have. Sasha. Um, JaVale, Duarte. But look, check this out. Kevin Herter, look, if Kevin Herter ain't hitting shots, he's useless. It's kind of like Buddy Hill. It's kind of like the similar situation with Buddy Hill. If he's not hitting the three, he's pointless to be out there. And it's like this, look, and with the team that we got, and especially with Sasha being able to go ahead and uh, hit the three at a clip that I look like he can hit at, there's no need for Kevin Herter. I say package him up to go get – uh, another to, to get another wing person, right? Or even get somebody that can also put the ball on the floor like uh, De'Aaron Fox and sometimes like Malik Monk. I say go either get you another bucket getter or go get you OG. And it's about that time, right, to go ahead and package a couple of these players to go uh, and get better, to get built for not only the meat of the season but the playoffs, right, if we're going to go ahead and take that next step, right? Because there's always a move that you can make to take that next step. And uh, they can identify that now. now. Now, now, Mike Brown got some work to do, and as far as getting his team right, because like I said, that effort um, regarding as a whole for the game just ain't good enough to go ahead and win the type of games like this that we need. Look, we've been we we got enough experience against this boy Curry, Curry to know what it takes to go ahead and uh, beat the Warriors. Right? We took them to seven. We know what time it is. Right? But that defense today was horrific. Now, I will give a shout-out to Sabonis because one thing he did do uh, last playoff series was get punked. He didn't get punked tonight. So I'll give a shout-out to that boy right there. Um, he did a lot. He did a whole lot better. Some of the things that I've seen that was our weaknesses regarding that um, in that playoff series, um, some of that's corrected, but some of it still needs to be addressed, right? Davion still ain't hitting the three. Kevin Herter, if he ain't hitting, he's still struggling. That that that's that's not good. That's not good. Um, you know what I mean? Especially if we got Duarte in the lineup. If we're gonna have Duarte in off night playing, one of them gonna have to hit that three at the clip, or one of them should not be playing. That's all I'm saying. Now I love now I love off night. He a dog. Right. But he going to have to hit that three. He going to have to at least turn into market smart when it comes down to how he smacked that three. Um, he going to have to hit that thing. Now, I know he's been working hard in the offseason, but he going to have to hit that thing because uh, this team needs to continue to space the floor out for Fox and Sabonis. If also we're going to continue to be efficient and continue to build up on the year that we had offensively, they're going to have to. 
They're going to have to. Um, now, the others, they didn't really do, um, they didn't really step up. You know, Keegan, Ke you can see Keegan, you can see the improvement in Keegan, though. I got to do it, definitely got to give a shout out to Keegan, though. But like some of the others that you needed, needed it, it didn't step up, you know, the way that they were supposed to step up. As far as, you know, giving us some contribution. And it look, and it ain't like the Warriors. The Warriors are not a deep team. They're they're not deep at all. Right? But one thing that they do is they do their job and they do and they know um uh, what's expected of them and they and, and they can and they execute on that type of level. That's what this team gonna need. We're gonna need contributions. We don't need uh De'Aaron Fox Knights from other uh people. Um all the time, right? You know, even though that's going to happen over the course of the season, though, but we just need you to do your job and, and, and play to our strengths so we can go ahead and uh, build up on what we did last year. But anywho, that's all I wanted to talk about. Y'all like, comment, and subscribe, and share this content. We gone.